year ago, I finally, finally decided to make a CD. And I started that journey and so many things fell into place to the point that I just had to keep saying yes. I found this amazing producer named Daniel Barrett in Austin, Texas, and he has this place called Rubicon Recording Studios and Arts Development. And it's the place a musician goes when they're finally ready to cross over into the path of dedicated musicianship. I sold my car, rearranged the whole house to take on roommates and help cover expenses, packed two suitcases and a guitar, and flew to Austin by myself while my husband stayed behind to help hold down the fort in Iowa. When I got to Austin, Dan gave me the directive to go to as many open mics as I could. And for my first one, I thought I was gonna throw up or die or get booed off the stage. And when none of those things happened, I kept going and I kept going and I kept going until I finally got to 157 open mics in one year. The other major part of my year was my twice weekly one-on-one -on -one sessions with Dan where we worked on every aspect of being a musician. Uh, technical, mental, physical, emotional, and there was a lot of crying. Um, a lot of crying. Maybe 95% of the time <laughs> there was crying, but it really paid off because by the end of the year when it was time to actually record the songs, it, there was no crying. It was totally easy and totally fun and I kept waiting for it to get hard. Like you hear all those stories of when like somebody storms out of the studio or uh, breaks a guitar or something and nothing even remotely close to that happened and suddenly we had these amazing songs. A talented multi-instrumentalist himself, Dan also brought in some amazing musicians to fill out the record. Rick Richards on drums, Red Young on piano and Hammond organ, and Warren Hood on fiddle. I also had many of my Austin friends and bandmates come in and record background vocals. Something to sing when it's been dry too long. Everybody needs a rain song. So come on, come on. You can support this project for as little as $1. That'll get you a download of one of the songs off the EP. For $5, you get all five of the songs. For $10, you get a signed physical copy of the CD, and that includes the beautiful artwork by Alicia Caritas. For $25, you get the EP plus a little handmade whale that I sewed myself, upcycled raindrop guitar string earrings that I made. Up in the higher levels, I can write a song for you and a loved one, or you can have a house concert where I make soup and all of your friends get signed copies of the EP. To find out all the different levels and variations of rewards, check out the right side of my Kickstarter page. It's all listed out there. I'm calling this album Anchor, and the title track speaks to following a calling and throwing my anchor down, which is what this album represents to me, an anchor into my artistic musical self. And it actually ended up having a pretty watery theme. There's a song about Jonah's whale, about the shoreline of Alaska, there's a rain song and a song that I dedicate to the committee in my head called Keep Telling Me. The way Kickstarter works is it's all or nothing funding. When I get all the pledges by a deadline and make my goal, then I get to finish making all the rewards and send them out to you and everybody wins. If I don't make the pledges by the deadline, nobody gets charged and I've got to figure out another way to make this dream happen. There's so many ways you can support me besides just your dollars. You can tell people about this project on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on emails, just talking about it in the coffee shop, whatever. But all of that, your support is going to let me raise the anchor and let it set sail. Anchor down. Hold my hand up high. This brave new world.